Where the whole world is striving to explore, it's the moon. Whether it's America, Russia, China, or India, everyone wants to visit the moon. But have you ever wondered what the moon's world is like? Is there soil or rock on the moon, oceans or rivers, mountains or sandy plains, water or something else? Are there aliens or humans on the moon? So, let's take you on a journey to the moon in the next few moments. The distance from Earth to the moon is approximately 384,400 kilometers. The shortest time taken to reach the moon from Earth is four days by America. Similarly, if we take the route of Chandrayaan to the moon, it will take about 40 days. Assuming we are going to the moon in an American spacecraft, it will take us four days to reach there. After four days, we will be on the moon's surface. Upon landing on the moon's surface, the first thing you'll see is the moon's ground. The moon's surface will appear rough and rugged to you. On the moon's surface, you will see large craters everywhere. When you stand on the moon's surface and look upwards, you'll see our beautiful planet Earth, which will be clearly rotating on its axis. However, it will always maintain its stability in the sky. Due to the moon's lower gravitational pull compared to Earth, your weight will become six times lighter when you stand on the moon's surface. So, if your weight on Earth is 60 kilograms, it will be only 10 kilograms on the moon's surface. This is why Neil Armstrong appeared to be hopping while walking on the moon. Because on the moon, walking like on Earth is not possible. The marks of Neil Armstrong's footsteps and his companions are still present on the moon's surface today, as there is no atmosphere to erase them. After walking a bit, when you look around on the moon, you'll find a lot of trash, satellites damaged beyond repair, and bags strewn around. All this trash has been left by humans. There's so much trash that it could fill five trucks. Trash on the moon and paper. This paper was thrown by space travelers, containing their urine and vomit. Now that you are standing on the moon, the greatest danger you face is space debris. Due to the absence of an atmosphere, there is no protective shield against meteoroids, and there's a constant risk of being hit by a large rock falling from the sky, leading to instant death. This is why the dark spots visible on the moon when observed from Earth are actually craters where sunlight doesn't reach. After all, when you're on the moon, you'll feel quite bored, and we're not joking. NASA, the American Space Agency, has established Wi-Fi, with speeds up to three maps on the moon, setting a world record. So you can enjoy entertainment by using the internet comfortably on the moon. Now you feel like using the internet, right? Now let's call your home on Earth from the moon. You dial the number. The call went through. But wait, what are you saying? Your voice isn't coming out of your mouth. Yes, that's true. On the moon, no matter how loudly you shout, your voice won't be audible. On Earth, there's always the presence of air everywhere, but the moon doesn't have its own atmosphere, so the transmission of sound waves is generally not possible. If you wanted to call someone on the moon, your voice wouldn't reach them. However, astronauts on the moon wear space suits that are pressurized with oxygen and nitrogen, creating an artificial atmospheric pressure. Therefore, they can communicate in spacesuits and with the help of microphones attached to them, they can transmit their voice to another person. In this way, there is no problem with using a telephone on the moon, but to transmit sound from your mouth to the microphone, you would need a medium like air, which is possible within this spacesuit. In the future, if human colonies are established on the moon, it is possible that communication through telephones could take place on the moon. However, it takes about 1.27 seconds for a signal to travel from the moon to Earth. Therefore, during communication with Earth, you would have to speak in intervals. Now, if we have to live on the moon, let's talk about day and night on the moon. It takes about 27.3 days for the moon to complete one orbit around the Earth and the same amount of time to rotate on its axis. A day on the moon is approximately 14 Earth days long, and the night is equally long. This means that the presence of objects on the moon's surface has a significant impact from day to night. During the night, 
The moon's temperature drops to around minus 153 degrees Celsius, while during the day, it can rise to 180 degrees Celsius. Additionally, different parts of the moon experience varying conditions. The moon's south pole is considered colder. Nights on the moon are extremely frigid, making it nearly impossible for a human from Earth to survive in such conditions, let alone imagine building settlements. Due to these harsh conditions, all missions to the moon so far have been conducted in its northern regions. The illumination we see on the moon's surface during the night is actually the reflection of sunlight from the Earth. If the sun's light were to disappear, the moon would be completely dark. The other side of the moon, the side that faces away from the Earth, has never been seen by a human from Earth because of the moon's synchronous rotation. Moon does not have weather in the same sense as Earth does because of its synchronous rotation. However, its different areas experience extremes. Some regions on the moon never receive direct sunlight. Surprisingly, the moon's conditions affect Earth's weather, but not the other way around. Now, if you have completed your journey through the world of the moon, you can sit back in your spacecraft and head back to Earth. How did you find this fascinating and informative journey on the moon? Let us know in the comments section. Please like this video and share it with your friends so that they can also gain knowledge. Don't forget to subscribe to our reliable channel for more knowledgeable videos and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you with another informative video. Thanks for watching till the end.